guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl the berry so today on berry's couch we are going to be talking about the things you cannot say to a new mom guys i know a lot of us are nonchalant we think she's my friend i can say anything to her no it doesn't work like that guys mothers new moms are very vulnerable they're vulnerable the way you handle them determines the outcome their reaction their state of mind so guys postpartum depression is real so you do not want to push a new mom into depression you do not want to worsen her case you do not want to make that new mom feel not beautiful enough so i hope that this topic enlightens you and i hope that you enjoy this video so i encourage you guys to click on the subscribe button leave me a comment in the comment box and also click on the post notification button so that anytime i post a video you'll be notified so stay with me guys as i take you through this video i love you so guys this topic is a topic i have always wanted to talk about because i know in this part of the country two out of ten women ten mothers new moms have passed through and can relate with this topic we're going to be having a lot of people are very insensitive with what comes out of their mouth a lot of people think oh she's my friend we, we talk like that no you have to understand different stages in people's lives and draw the line know your limits so this is the topic we're going to be having today if you're new to my channel please subscribe leave a comment for me guys put on your post notification so that by the time i post my next video you're going to be notified so stay with me guys as we go into this topic and breaking it down the things you cannot say to a new mom now for the people that exhibit such characters that you just see a new mom and you just feel oh you should share your opinion it is wrong number one you can never tell a new mom oh you look tired of course she is tired you don't need to remind her of that bringing out a child already is stressful having to stay awake most times the whole night is stressful so you don't see a new mom and you say oh you look really tired yes is tired she doesn't need a reminder so you cannot say that to a new mom guys you cannot for the number two thing you cannot say to a new mom is did they give birth through the vagina or through a cesarean session are you for real does it matter some of us are so insensitive it doesn't matter if a woman gave birth through a normal childbirth or through elective what matters is that the woman gave birth and the mother and child are healthy so you can't just be walking around and say oh how did the child come is it through cs it's rude guys you can't do that if you did not know that know it now it's very rude i know some people might not even want to ask you in your face some of them they go through they cut through the corners in asking maybe someone that knows you they say oh did she give birth through the normal way or through cs what do you want to hear it is wrong do not ever ask a new mom that it is rude very rude guys don't do that don't do that <laughs> Now, the third thing is, do not ask a new mom, are you breastfeeding? Do, do you want to help her out? Do you? Now, for my own experience, I when I gave birth to my daughter, from the hospital, she totally rejected to suckle on my breast. She rejected it from day one. I tried everything i know it is a mother's joy to 
give birth to a child and have that child suckle on her breast and the hospital they don't fail to remind you that you have to give your child breast milk that uh, breast milk does this it does that to a child so all mothers look forward to sharing that intimacy with their child and for me i didn't have that opportunity i remember during my daughter's naming ceremony i some of my husband's cousins they came around females and when they heard that my baby wasn't sucking they were like oh you've not tried okay come and give the baby the breast in our presence okay i went in i cleaned up my breast and i came out and i sat down and the struggle began you know i tried everything at some point they had to start pinching my baby start you know flicking her and she was crying she was screaming and at some point my mother-in-law came out my husband's aunties came out and they were like if the baby does not doesn't want breast milk leave her alone don't force her you know i remember that at the end of the day because my husband was with his friends outside when I was trying to explain to my husband, I started crying. I was like, oh, if you need to see the way they were beating my daughter. I was really emotional. I felt bad for my daughter. And I also felt bad that, okay, she did suckle on my breast. So that you see, you, ca you, you cannot ask a new mom, are you breastfeeding? It is not necessary. It is not, trust me, don't do that. Now, number four, do not ask a new mom, when will you start losing weight? Are you for real? Like, to, to her, that, that, is the, that is the lowest blow. Like, for me, I hate when people tell me I am fat. I hate it when people tell me I look fat. It is wrong. It is rude. Don't do that. Like, how do you ask a new mom when do you will you start losing weight? How is that your business? She has to be physically ready. She has to be mentally ready. You know, to want to lose weight. It, it is not in your place. You know, to ask her that because you don't know where her self esteem is at at that moment you do not want to remind her that she's fat from carrying a child her stomach is big you, you shouldn't do that I, I remember when i gave birth to because these topics I, i'm sharing with you guys they are relative issues they are topics of you know things that i have experienced so i am sharing it from a personal point of view guys when i gave birth to my daughter I remember somebody telling me two weeks after I gave birth that you look fat and I'm like I just gave birth to a child like a full human what do you want from me you know you, you can't do that guys you that statement alone can push a new mom into depression you do not want to do that so please let us be careful about the things that we say it doesn't necessarily be a new mom. Don't don't see someone that you've not seen for a long time and you think the first greeting should be, Oh, you've added so much weight. Oh, you're so slim now. Oh, you're this and that. Keep your opinion to yourself. Nobody cares. Don't do that because you do not know what a person is passing through you do not know another thing is do not compare your journey for those that have already had children do not compare your journey to another person's own for the new mom it might be her first experience and maybe she happens to share her experience with you and you're like oh 
when I had my own child, it was like this. Oh, mine was like this. Oh, oh, it's yours like this. Oh, it, it shouldn't be like that because mine was like this. No, it is wrong. Brother, you listen to the experience the new mom is sharing with you. If you don't know what to say, keep quiet, please. It is wrong. Don't do that. Don't don't compare yourself. You know, people's bodies are different. People's strengths are different. Your strength might not be her strength. You know, your experience might not be her experience. So you cannot compare yourself. Some people might feel, oh, I, I am not doing much. Okay, look at so and so person look at her experience oh she did better what i'm not doing well and all those type of things are not good for a new mom they are not trust me don't do it all these things a new mom might not actually tell you oh i don't like that please don't don't say that to me they will just you know go back into their shell Probably maybe when you leave or when they're alone, they'll think about it. They'll feel bad. It can push somebody to, you know, reason the way the person is not supposed to reason just because of one statement that you made to that person. So you see why you should be very conscious. You should be very intentional about the things, you know, you say to a new mom. Be very intentional, guys. Now, another thing you cannot say to a new mom is, why can I come and see the baby? What do you want her to say? You, you are asking the question wrongly. You can't ask, when, I, when can I come and see the baby? Brother, you should ask, when are you available for me to come and see the baby? Because you're asking her, when can you come and see the baby? What do you want her to say? Oh, oh, don't come. Don't, don't, don't make people feel bad. Like, let them know that you are there for them. Let them know that you support them in whatever stages they are passing through. Let them know that you are in their corner at all times. So guys, I hope these tips I am giving you is you know going to be very helpful I, I i hope you're noting them down you know if you've been doing this thing our advice you shouldn't do them anymore because it can be very disastrous to a new mom some of some of the new mom can have tough skin some don't some can tell some can tell you you know don't do that some might not be able to it's in your place to do the right thing. Say the right thing at all times. Encourage that new mom. Give that new mom a hug. Instead of pushing that new mom into depression. Do better, okay? Please. The things you can say to a new mom, to encourage a new mom. You can say, oh, you did that. You are strong. Oh, I am here whenever you need me know that i'm in your corner if you need help reach out to me these are the things you can say to a new mom encourage that new mom today postpartum depression is real and you don't want to be the cause of that person slipping into depression it is bad enough that some of the women do not feel good about themselves after bringing in a child into the world it's bad enough that you know we feel insecure about ourselves we don't feel beautiful but you know you can be a source of encouragement by saying the right things at the right time do not neglect a new mom don't think oh she's that person that she used to be before she became a mom trust me it changes so guys i encourage i really encourage you guys to do better you know be, be intentional be positive 
to a new mom. Hold their hand, encourage them, acknowledge them. Because it is not easy. If you are a mom, you understand what I am talking about. It is not easy. So guys, I really appreciate you watching through this video. I really appreciate you staying through to me. I am so you know grateful for you, my subscribers. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, click the subscribe button, leave a comment, put on your post notification so that you'll be notified anytime I post a video. Share this video, you know, to someone, encourage someone today. And trust me, this world can do better. We all can do better. So guys, I hope I am an inspiration to you. I hope I am making sense. I hope that sharing my experiences with you is going to go a long way, you know, in helping somebody, in encouraging somebody. I do not take your love for granted. I really appreciate you guys. Bye.